Mike, because where'd what? you get confused then, Blind Mike? You've heard me talk. What where do you mean, where? Confused? I'm just saying, if, if you, you agree with it, why get... couldn't it get posted? Because, because I, don't I don't want, because Mike, we have a long history, whether the person's crazy or whatever, I we get, get that, battle. I that Shut up, I get, Mike! I get all that, but Shut I'm saying the you agree fuck up! You get right or wrong, people write articles about it, because you're the author, you've written one thing, Mike, you're a nothing here. I don't want you leading those very important battles with you. I don't fucking trust you. How hard is that to see that I don't want you leading Barstool into battles when you've been here for a fucking minute and I don't trust you? It's not at all. I was told to write, so I wrote. <laughs> That's, no, you were told it was sexist. Yes. By who? the fact. I'm saying the reason I wrote it is because By it was who? a thing involved with the show. Who said it's it was sexist? a thing that you agree with. I told I'm... this exact reasoning exactly to Kirk Minahan. I have the option now, have a, a no-name employee be like, hey, Dave Porton is a pussy. Fire me, you pussy. Who else would say that here in his position? Nobody. Of course, it was stupid. I was pissed and I meant it at the time and I was angry and I should have said it probably, but I was fucking mad. So the question goes to you, Blind Mike. You called me a pussy, say I have no balls, I hate you so much, I, I should fire you. You want me to fire you? <laughs> I don't. Okay, so then, like, I think the apology should be you have to come here to new york and kiss my feet then you can keep your job <laughs> your choice uh, just the next time we go no no I don't drive, no, so. no we'll we'll get you a train ticket we'll get you here kiss my feet say i'm sorry <laughs> you can go back to your show other than that you're fired Walk out of here. <laughs> Fucking Rabel, look at that little smirk from Rabel. He knows. He's like, all right, we got Belichick on that one. Fuck off. Belichick, you got fucking Fuck your face it. stomped down the field. That's what you did. You fucking woke us up. Best to ever do it. Best. Ryan Tannehill, get the fuck out of here. Yeah! Let's fucking go. Put three and out. Oh. Am I nervous? No. That goal line stand, not good. Uh, but I, I think we're going to win the game. It's been up. It's been down first drive. We, it's been momentum swings. Um, Brady looks good. So I'm not nervous. This, this right here. We're gonna win this game. I'm pretty confident. When you gotta repeat over and over, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Oh, come on! He grabbed him. He's got ketchup. What are you doing? Fucking Bailey, are you kidding me? Brian Tanner! <laughs> This song goes out to uh, the other Patriots build up. No it's better actually, exclamation point. Actually better. On a career. That's actually better. Really? Yeah. That the last throw that Tom Brady we ever a, makes we, in a Patriots uniform is a better chance to score a touchdown on a kickoff than we do from the one. Oh, so we're still holding out hope for the win here, huh? I'm just saying it's better. I mean, we're just not. It wasn't our year. I went to the bank, took out 25 grand. Oh. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Just, just sitting on it. When are you going to make that decision? To, you know, are you waiting for like a moment, for like something to show yeah. you the way? Second to second. It is shifting. Uh, FanDuel Sportsbook, national championship game. I'm on LSU. Mush, you're on Clemson. Yep. Casey, you like LSU. Mm -hmm. I haven't bet it yet because I'm going back and <laughs> forth. So I'm going to wait to watch the first drive of each team. And then I think put 25 grand on whoever I like. I'm in. All Clemson? All Clemson. Oh, he's got time. Let's, 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 let's go! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking Joe Burrow right fucking there. Go. Brandon. All that momentum. Let's all go. of it is fucking let's gone. Go. The SEC is for weak, weak, weak football teams. Oh. Touchdown. Let's go! Great night. Sorry, we got a boring live stream because the game's over in the third quarter. <laughs> Not over. Yeah, it is. Yeah! All right, I'm leaving.
literally. Bye, Dave. Yeah. See you, Dave. What I do? You had a date last night, and you just brought the date here. Correct. You're in a bizarro world. Who goes on a date here? I Who just brings strangers into our office? I just like, what makes you think you can do that? She seemed cool and safe. It doesn't matter what she thinks. I don't care who she <laughs> is. It's irrelevant. What makes you think you have the authority to be like, yep, I'm going to go on a date in the office? That's my only throw. Is like, it's just after hours. It's more safe. What does that it. mean after hours? There what does that mean, stream, Mantis? Though. But that after hours, it's your house? Oh, no, but, like, after hours... Like, well, you can't be in... Well, I'm going to have to take away your card. It's, it's helping create content, though, at the smallest part. Segment of radio. Been, that's been a good radio. It's been a good... A lot this Twitter. fucking guy. <laughs> this already. fucking guy. I don't know what to do with this fucking <laughs> guy. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this fucking guy. I'm not arguing at all. I'm just trying to make some like, This fucking guy. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. Mantis, stop fucking acting like you're the fucking president of this company with your decisions. Mantis thing, like, is that sort of like a alpha move of him? No. Who wants to go to someone's office for, like, a date? It sounds like he was, like, really standing up for himself, though, is what I'm saying. Like, he believes he's right. Right about what? That he has the authority to bring a girl in for a date. No, he's... His brain it doesn't even think of working like normally. It's not an alpha move. He's, I don't know, he's just one of the dumbest people I've ever met. He has no sense of reality. None. Zero. Like, not even, I don't know, not even a hint of that brain functioning. There's not even a spark. There's nothing going on up there in reality. He lives in a bizarro world, and I don't know what that world is. And I don't want to be part of it, to be honest.